I'm here today with Juan at the 12 Apostles Hotel here in Cape Town. I'm Angela Hughes with the Insider Travel Report, and we're here to talk to you about the 12 Apostles and so much more. <laughs> Okay, Juan, I'm so excited to be at your property. Lovely having you. Um, like I was telling you a few minutes ago, it's been, you know, probably two years in the making that I've been trying to get here, but you guys have had so many difficulties opening up and yeah. it's not well, you per se, well but the country. Away. Well yeah. Away. yeah, so tell me what's new with the property. Yeah, look at a uh, great <laughs> property. It's all since, like you say, since the last two years, been really crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been a really reinventing ourselves over the last couple of months since the Omicron. Uh, and the COVID pandemic. Uh, so it's been a really exciting time for us, yeah. Yeah, so what, what do you feel like, like the comeback has been like? It's, it's been a lot stronger than what we anticipated. Um, I think with the recreating of the experiences, uh, we had to do business differently. It's really excited um, our markets and everybody's really just flooded back since uh, we've opened up for travel again. So we're really excited and we've seen a great response from our guests. So. And you guys seem like you're booked every single night right now. <laughs> it's, just, it's just been, you know, we very fortunate, incredibly blessed. It's just been really busy since the doors have opened again and the, the travel has opened. Uh, we couldn't we couldn't have asked for more. We had a brilliant season. season. Winter doesn't exist for us. We haven't had one for yeah. two years. So it's been really good. And, and really, this just, is kind of winter. That's why I threw on yeah, the sweater. Yes, this but is it's winter. really like, yeah. <laughs> this is like the nicest weather in Florida right now. Yeah. So no, <laughs> we're in Cape fantastic. Town. Yeah. But I take advantage of the sweater. Um, tell me for a minute, you guys have kind of become the Hotel of the Stars. It seems sure. like you get a few stars coming in. Yeah. Anybody favorite that stays here? Oh, I'll tell you, there's been so many. It's, um, yeah. we, it's hard, to, hard to really call it, but we've enjoyed them all and they all come with a whole bunch of new experiences for us so yeah. it's been great yeah okay and do just normal people stay here like yeah, myself absolutely. no we got okay. pretty normal i think we've also opened ourselves up to that we've very engaging with the, our community our local community uh, we want to make ourselves you know the sort of place to be yeah uh, so in the last year 12 to 18 months we've really worked hard and we've really drawn in a really good local crowd and right. in return that draws the tourists you know yeah. they want to see where they want to be where the locals are so it's been a really good good turnaround for us well i feel like this is one of the best addresses on the coast yeah right 100 yeah. percent. you can ask with i mean in terms of our location um it's just phenomenal we're at the foot of table mountain yeah. right on the sea so uh in terms of sunset cocktails, we are the destination of choice. So this is a sundowner of choice yeah, location yeah. here. Um, tell me a little bit about the property. How many rooms you've got and you know what's sure. new in terms of that? I think in terms of our rooms, yeah, we've got 70 rooms. We're a 70 bedroom property, uh, starting right up from a presidential suite, uh, mountain and sea facing suites. It's pretty much a good mix of, of both you know, uh, a lot of people want the sea facing suites, but yeah. when they see the spectacular mountain views behind us, they are, yeah. you know, easily convinced to take a, a mountain facing suite. So I think in the last couple of months, it's been great because we've had an opportunity to, to recreate ourselves. So a lot more engagement with our guests, a lot more experiences, outdoor experiences. Um, you know, we've got magnificent Feinbos right behind us. Right. So one of my experiences is the, the Feinbos journey with gin. So you actually have an opportunity to make your own gin yeah. with some of the Feinbos that you pick right in our right garden in behind the, us. So mm -hmm. those are the kind of things we've been working on. The rooms, you know, over the last couple of months have really been refreshed and reinvigorated in terms yeah, of design. Yeah, and I love the colors. I yeah. mean, it just invites you to be a lot of blue and white invites exactly. you to just be part yeah. of the ocean. So, I mean, it's yeah. amazing. It's a seaside resort, right. if you put it at that. So, um, you know, it's amazing that we've got all these views and a lot of light, natural light, and this, the color really adds to that. Um, in the last couple of months, we've been adding really fresh new colors to our rooms, which has really made a difference to the guest experience. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the food experience here, yeah. because you've got so many competing factors with wineries and different sure. things yeah. just an hour away. Yeah. Um, I think the food experience is incredibly unique. Uh, we've got one of the, I would like to say the best sushi offering in the city. Yeah. And I mean, combine that with the views, you, you're in for an amazing experience. Uh, everything is really based around experiences. Okay. So our chef, executive chef, Christo Pretorius, he uses only the best and local sort of food, right. foods that we can find really close by. And everything really is to show the best of South Africa. Right. And he's just done it in such an incredible way um, that it's really, there's a story behind every dish and, and that's what everybody really appreciates. You know, besides the food being of exceptionally high standard, it's more the story that 
gets the food that. to the yeah. plate. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like people are looking for more of like a food and drink experience sure. everywhere yeah. they go. Um, back to your rooms for a minute. How many how many rooms do you guys have? 70, 70, 70 rooms. 70 on yeah. here. So how does that work with like groups um, or like destination weddings? Do you have to do a complete buyout when you come here? Or how does we that... are totally open to complete buyouts. Mm -hmm. um, with the high occupants we're running, it's something we haven't done for a long time and it's not on the cards for for a yeah. long time, uh, just because the occupancy is really high. I bet that high. feels good to say that, Very that you have say. to yeah, like. Yeah, you know, I'm sort of putting <laughs> it out there. But um, yeah, in terms of buyouts, it's total, we're totally open to it. It does happen. Our wedding venue is spectacular, the Marquee. And we've also got the Feindorf Garden. So it's a garden wedding sort of environment. Sure. Uh, and with a helipad on the property, a lot of people do fly into the property and then that opens itself and lends itself yeah. to kind of buyouts. Yeah, and, so I, and, and I was actually them. on your helicopter just the other day yeah. and we'll oh, be really. taking it tomorrow as well. Yeah. So it looks yeah. amazing. Um, and, and if you haven't done that helicopter ride, I mean, it's a beautiful coastal ride and they can even bring people in just for the day for lunch sure. and... Yeah, so, so it's a facility mm -hmm. that we have and we're very fortunate to have it. We're one of the very few properties who have a, a heli landing on our property. Yeah. So we have people flying in for lunches, um, you know, for lunches where they're flying in for stay and accommodation sure. or just for lunch. It's something that we are able to facilitate yeah. and it is totally unique. I mean, flying in against this landscape of the mountain it's is crazy. something you don't get anywhere else yeah. in the world. Yeah. Okay, the weather. It's been the nicest weather since I've been here. <laughs> Last time I came, I was not so fortunate with the weather. Um, do you find it's difficult to like run a seaside resort? Because th this can get dicey here yeah. sometimes, weather-wise. Cape Town is known to having four seasons in one day. Yeah. I think we've learned to live with it. Um, yeah. But for people visiting the property, it's quite exciting. Right. Um, the, the property is located in a very unique sort of canyon within Table Mountain. So our weather is generally really good. Um, but in terms of our seasonal weather, weather's just, I think all, everyone who comes to visit us says it's great. You know, yeah. no matter how bad it is, we say, oh, sorry, we're having terrible weather. And actually, weather. I mean, it's winter right now, yeah, so to exactly. speak. Exactly. So even the rainy, really I'm bad days. weather and it feels like yeah. 65. So when we're talking winter, we're not talking like no, Northeast sure. New York weather. Uh, our South African people come to work, you know, we, when we dress up for winter, we say to our guests, you know, sorry about the weather. And they say, this is fantastic. What do you mean? Sorry about sure. the weather. So I think we don't, we take it for granted, but for the people visiting us, it's, it's phenomenal. Right, yeah. right. Okay, you guys belong to the Red Carnation family. That's right, yeah. um, does, how, how does that all work out for you? Because there's a lot going on underneath that umbrella. Yeah, yeah. And I love all their products. Look, it's a phenomenal product. It's, a, it's great to be part of such a great family run yeah. business, being mm -hmm. the Red Carnation Group. Um, the support, uh, you know, just the brand itself speaks for itself. Right. Um, so it's really been pheno it's phenomenal as a property, working with them, working with the family. It's still a lot of family influence. Um, which we really love and it really talks to our brand right. because it's that that real personal touch that really filters down to our guests. Um, so the phenomenal properties that they've got all around the world, we've got three in Southern Africa and one in Botswana Okay. and just absolutely phenomenal products, yeah. all of them. And I think, I think the whole family that runs that yeah. brand is amazing top to bottom from yeah. their river cruises to their hotels so the Tolman family, to their castles yeah you know? absolutely you know they've just uh, if you look at the portfolio it speaks for itself but being like on the ground and working with the family on the product we just see the passion that is really poured into the right. product and that just sort of relays and talks to our clients directly through the teams okay so a couple of hot questions for you sure <laughs> um would you say um obviously this is premium plus and you belong to several consortias in the united states yeah um, Virtuoso, for I believe sure. you're with Internova. Yeah. Um, so you've really spread out yeah. being able to work with all of the luxury sure. advisors across pretty much the United States. Um, how, how does, um, how, how would you preface this property? I mean, I want to say like boutique luxury, but yeah. what would you say? That was my initial thought when I came in. 100%. I think okay. it, it is definitely boutique luxury. For a 70 bedroom property, you wouldn't assume the word boutique. Right, because like you know, it's not a twenty-room property, but 100%. it very much has this feel of sure. just coziness with yes. it. Yes, and that's what it really is all about: is that sort of personal touch, that engagement with our guests on a really boutique level. Yeah. Um, if you have a look at some of the rooms, they're all individually styled. Yeah. You know, and that you don't get that in a seventy-bedroom hotel yeah. under, under normal circumstances. All the the public areas individually styled. Um, the the team that we have put together all work with a premise that they work for a boutique 
right. family hotel. Uh, and so you get the premium service or premium yeah. product, but you get this personalized service that really is yeah. the key to what we do. And generally when I walk into a room, I'm always looking to see what the bedding. Yeah. <laughs> and then I compare everything to the Ashford Castle, which is also the yes, brand, because yes. that was probably my most comfortable sleep, yeah. but I can guarantee tonight it's gonna to be just as comfortable. 100%. Looks like the same yeah. type of bedding, yeah. so I'm super no, excited sure. about that. Okay, so a couple of hot questions. How long have you been in the business? At this property? Yeah. I've been in this property now five years. Five years, five and years. how long have you been in the business in general? 18 years. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think the biggest surprises are working in hotel management right now? I just think it's really the guest expectation. It's really our yeah. world's been turned upside down. Um, I think. Do it's, you feel like people are like expecting more? Like they feel like yeah. I'm paying more, so I expect more. Or what, what do you mean with not, that? I don't even think it's about the fact that they're paying. I think you know mm -hmm. it, when the price factor really dissolves away. When it's just, I think people have been restrained to their countries, to their homes yeah. over the past couple of years. When they, now they are getting out and they're feeling more comfortable traveling. Sure. They really are looking for a different experience. They're not just looking for a comfortable bed and a good cup of coffee. They are looking for their personal touches, personal engagements, yeah. personal relationships. They want to see something different. They right. don't want to see you know the same product over and over again. So I think if you haven't rebranded yourself and created a unique experience, yeah. then you're going to be left behind in this new world where before we were kind of, it was all standards based. It was all sort of real stick to the, mm -hmm. just focus on the details, stick to the standards. Now every guest stay right. is a personalized experience. And if you aren't doing that, I think you're going to be missing the bus. Okay. Do you ever just find yourself mesmerized by the sundowners upstairs? And a sundowner is what yeah. for the American audience? Because we don't use that word so, so much. So, yeah, sundowners for us is just literally watching the sunset yeah. over the horizon, which feels like it's within an arm's length away, yeah. and having a beautiful cocktail. Some of the sushi that we're going to have a little bit later. So that's exactly what it is. And I think we have some of the best uninterrupted views of sunsets in Cape Town. Do you ever find that people want, you know, they want to stay here, but they feel like it's just a little bit too far outside of Cape Town? Or do you yeah. find that they're purposely coming out of Cape Town to just have more of this serene For experience, sure. but be that close? Yeah, that's exactly, you've hit mm -hmm. the nail on the head. Um, I think it, people are looking for, they are still looking for open spaces. Okay. Uh, post the pandemic, they are looking to be in properties that are a little bit outside the city, but still stones throw away. And yeah. that's exactly where we fall into that category. So where we might have before tried to convince people that we are a, a city hotel, just in that, now we are saying, yeah. you know, we are the hotel that's got this unique, really uh, beautiful location. And we are stones throw away from the city. So, you know, we've got a shuttle that runs into the city, which makes it really convenient right. for people getting into the city, but they come out and enjoy the natural beauty, um, you know, and, and Cape Town's a magnificent city, uh, just on its own. Yeah. And to just see it from a different perspective, and that's what we offer. Um, a unique and really, if you could hear right behind me, <laughs> they've got waterfalls going. We had to actually shut the windows because, yeah, yeah. Um, just you know, for for the sound for this video. Sure. But you've got waterfalls going. Yeah. It's, it's really a serene atmosphere. You feel. Yes. And, and that's you feel what, like you could like unplug and detox here. No, for sure. And, and that's what it, exactly what it's almost like a wellness retreat in yeah. that sense, but you're still close to the city. What we have found is people in the past would never want to venture further, much further beyond their room or sure. the property. Now we're offering hikes on four, yeah. four different hiking trails. Oh, that's interesting, trails. yeah. Yeah, because- Well, let's talk about that for a minute. Do you feel like the wellness is kind of like your future? 100%. I think so, that is- And was that pre-COVID or now you're just like, everybody wants wellness and that's think, trendy, so- yeah. I think the, the mm -hmm. property talks to that. I mean, it talks to wellness. It's peaceful, it's serene. We've okay. got a beautiful spa with uh, some swimming pools and flotation pools that is underground yeah. in white, white stone caves. Um, so the property was always set up to be that. I just think since post pandemic, the market is looking for more of that. Okay. You know, they're looking for sure. the, the outdoor spaces. They're looking for serenity. They're looking for the wellness spaces. Um, so, and now, you know, yeah. we've, we speak to that and we offer a lot of outdoor experiences. Uh, for the gin lovers, we do the walk through the Feinbos, like I said earlier, where they can right. pick their Feinbos. And before, you know, that was a novelty. Now, people just flock towards the, the outdoor open experiences. Okay, a couple more hot questions. What do you see coming in the future? I think in the future, I think it's, I think we're on the topic, it's, it's wellness. I think people are traveling for different reasons. I think mm -hmm. people are traveling for more experiences and I just see travel growing. I think there's more markets that are opening up um, and I think we've got to be open to the fact that there are people looking for different experiences. They, yeah. they are looking for uniqueness. Okay, yeah. who, who do you, or who or where do you feel like is your competing 
factor? Like, what are you competing against? The safari? Or are you competing against I, I think, or, or, yeah. you know, other countries? Or yeah. tell me what I, seems I think to be the pain a, point. I think as a city, we are so strong. Cape Town is a city. And so yeah. being a destination within Cape mm-hmm. Town is already puts us really in a league of our own. Mm-hmm. I think we are really, right now, uh, our com- like competing factors, if you look wider than that, is just ensuring that, you know, that the markets open up, that there's right. flights coming into Cape Town. I think if, as long as we've got the markets opening up and more flights coming into the city, that is really our pain right. point uh, at this at this time. It's it's well, a really right thing now you we guys have. cannot be in a better unique. situation with yeah. United and Delta both exactly. flying nonstop yeah. from Atlanta, New York, sure. Dulles. So. so so that's what we. I mean, w- as this develops, it's just we're getting back to normal, and we've got a great brand new product. Being a city, being a property, um, so the pain points. I think right now, it's it's a. It's fine, it's hard to say, but we're really in a great space. Um, right. And we, we are very positive about the future. Okay, the other thing we haven't talked about is a strong American dollar. Bad for you, good for us. Great for you. Yeah, yeah for once. <laughs> for sure. Um, do you find that people are extending their stay because of that? Or do you, you know, forecast that that's yeah. gonna be Look, a strong point for you? We do. Um, we are seeing our length of stay generally increasing. It, it could very well speak to certain things like the value of the dollar. So it is, but we are seeing people doing more experiences where before people would kind of be at the property, right. use the property to only certain level. Mm-hmm. Now there's much more spa treatments happening. There's yeah. much more private dining being booked. There's much more experiences being booked. Right. Uh, and we've had to work on our model and make sure we can really offer all those experiences. Yeah. But we are seeing people living the experience a bit more, living the brand a bit more, where before it was right. kind of just come for an average length of stay, make use of the property a certain degree. Right. Now they're investing more into the property, more into the experience. And right when you said spa experience, all of a sudden yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We've got you booked for one of those. So okay, good, gonna... <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, um, last question. Sure. Um, moving forward, what would you hope to see happen uh, with the brand? I mean, there's so many great things happening with the brand at the moment. It's just growing from strength to strength. They've opened a phenomenal uh, property in Botswana, uh, Kijra. Yeah. Um, it, it is a time of growth within the brand. So will um, you guys be doing something where you're like, okay, two nights here and then three nights do. in Botswana? And that's, yeah, and so that's exactly with the, the brilliant property in Botswana. We've got the property in Durban, mm-hmm. uh, the Oyster Box. We've got one up in the Cedarburg, uh, Bushman's Kloof, Wellness Retreat. Okay. So I do see more and more of that happening. Of kind of like a, a route yeah. that people can just book, exactly. book like the whole. They'll book the tour. Yeah. And, and what we are seeing and what we do hope to see more of is that the South African properties and South Africa's whole get seen as a, a destination that people really want to travel to. Yeah. So we've got such a great uh, s- sort of selection of properties uh, in, in London, in the UK, uh, that we see more sort of inter, yeah. inter-country yeah. sort of travel. So our properties in London, we see more of this. And we're seeing a lot of it, and it's just growing at the moment from strength to strength. We're seeing a lot right. more of the brands getting stronger, and we're seeing a lot more of engagement between the properties, which right. is phenomenal. Yeah. Right. Juan, you are amazing. Thank the you. The Twelve Apostles Lovely. Hotel is gorgeous. <laughs> and I'm Angela Hughes with the Insider Travel Report.